All right, let's now check in with meteorologist John Adams for a look at our forecast. Now, John, it is a beautiful day outside. I love it. Is this going to continue or is it going to take a turn again? Well, it's going to continue one more day at least, uh, but we do uh, and we are in meteorological spring, as I said, just a couple of minutes ago, uh, which means that uh, March, April, May is when we are beginning to get into our spring storm season and we'll be starting off the week with a chance of some of those storms moving in. But today, as you said, has been very nice. We've had sunshine, a few high clouds beginning to streak the skies of East East Texas again as they come in from the west and as we took a look or take a look at what we're expecting as we go through this evening we will see an increase in cloud cover there'll be some patchy fog developing uh, after about three o'clock in the morning lasting until a little after sunrise tomorrow at noon we'll start to see those clouds erode that trend will continue through the afternoon and we'll actually have a nice sunny day however the clouds will be coming back in overnight uh, Sunday night into Monday morning and uh, we'll start off the day with the cloudy skies again. There'll be some showers developing down to the south and as this cold front approaches the area it is going to help to increase the chance for some showers and thunderstorms during the day on Monday. Tell you a little more about that in just a minute but as we go through the noon hour there on Tuesday we'll start to see a few of those clouds decrease however there'll still be a chance for some showers as well. Wednesday we'll start off with cloudy skies in the morning again and as we look at the marginal risk for severe storms which is what we are going to have mainly Monday afternoon and Monday night. It does include most of East Texas. Just those western counties have been left out. Uh, main threats would be some small hail and some damaging winds. And again, this is just a marginal risk or it's the lowest end of the scale of one to five there uh, in East Texas. So uh, could hear some rumbles of thunder and one or two of those storms could be strong enough to produce a little bit of hail and some damaging winds. Our temperatures right now have uh, again warmed to above normal by about 10 degrees or so. We are well into the 70s this afternoon. Forecast lows for Sunday morning. Going to be down into the middle 50s for the area and in the afternoon we are back into the 70s there on Sunday. Overnight uh, Monday we'll start to see those temperatures dropping. Of course the clouds coming back in will help to hold those temperatures up a little higher as we expect those lows to be in the 60s. And then Monday afternoon will again warm well into the 70s to near 80 degrees and start to see some of those thunderstorms in the area and that warmth will help those along as well. Here's the trend for the next seven days on our temperatures. Uh, we'll trend upward for the next couple of days and then begin a slow cooling trend that'll carry us to the end of the week and we'll see our highs back down in the low 60s by Saturday. As for overnight, uh, look for increasing cloud cover, 57 the overnight low, and again some patchy fog forming before sunrise. Sunday's forecast, a high of 77, cloudy early, then becoming mostly sunny, and the winds increasing south at about 15 miles per hour. Over the next seven days, Monday showers, thunderstorms, again a marginal risk. Some of those could be severe. Tuesday we get a break, get more sunshine, but then a chance of rain for the second half of the week and the trend to some cooler temperatures coming in. Over deep east Texas, you'll also have that marginal risk for tomorrow, a little higher chance you'll see some rain. And then some morning showers left over for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Showers and occasional thunderstorms return to the area. And right now, it's looking like another pretty good weekend, but a bit on the cooler side. You can check that forecast anytime at our website, ketk.com.